What's up guys welcome back to another Bleach Reaction this is episode 239 yeah 239 let's go and get this episode started so last episode they were um, well three Shinigamis they are uh, they have contacted well they came again face to face with uh, Sampato they're on some factor so I'm looking forward to seeing how that fight gonna go if that gonna go and on the other hand Muramesa, Muramesa that strange some factor that been freeing everybody he's been slicing all the hollows I'm not sure why that will be interesting to see why he went to rampage around hollow because far as I know he is not a bad guy Muramesa but something did happen not sure what happened, but something happened. We will eventually get to know. So Hitsugaya got his sambak too. Uh, sorry, Hitsugaya got his sambak to to get uh, Matsum Motsumoto. She got her sambak to get back. Hinamari. She got her sambak to get back, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of those people getting their sambak to back. Rukia still on bed. Uh, Byakuya, I think he's wearing that Japanese armor and rampaging around, so that would be interesting to see. Okay. Alright, we're starting with uh, this weird Samba too. Just killed Gillians. Like, it's mean nothing. So, it is a powerful Samba too, and the owner must be pretty powerful as well. But we didn't get to see its power, did we? It's not Aizen's Samba too by any chance, you think? Damn, man have eyes on his back. Wait, what is he trying to kill? Okay, he's trying to kill some specific Sambaktu, okay. I mean, not Sambaktu, specific hollow. So I'm assuming this is that one, since it's glowing. There we go. So is that a, like a Shinigami that got turned into a Sambaktu? Is that Gin's Sambaktu by any chance? Okay. Oh, okay. This is kind of remind me of Naruto battle, you know, on the tree branch, they jump around and fight. But anyway. Especially when they were after Sasuke-kun. So she want to kill her. Wow. She is actually, you know, all the sambak to they going with the intention to kill their masters. Okay, and Matsumoto fighting her Sambaktu on this side. No, don't take your eyes off. Well, 
Wait, that's the things he hate? That's why she hate her? Wow. Okay, I am more interested in the ice battle because on the flashback, I mean not on the flashback, on the preview in the last episode, at least on the first scene, it seems like we're going to see the past. That's not true, but No, I think there is something. Okay, that's gonna hit her and it's gonna hit her. It's gonna be like that. Yeah. Oh, damn. She caught both of them. So that was just a distraction. Surprisingly, surprisingly, they both have been together. Makes sense. <laughs> okay, so that bad. Okay. Oh wait, what the hell? I think you can still do that while you are young. You necessarily don't need 
age to do that all you need is experience at least that's the way I look at it Wow. Anyway, moving on to the part I was waiting for. Why he doesn't have his memory, that's something... Oh boy! <laughs> okay, I guess I'm expecting this is where we're gonna get the flashback. No, apparently not. His true master. Okay, so technically he wanna go back to being uh, somebody. Okay. It is not going to be easy. I think Hitsugaya have his um what what do you call it? key or the energy or spiritual power, whatever, that's a lot, but when it's come to his strength it will be less. Right? Okay, that shouldn't just prove it. He should break it easily. Wait, he freezing it. Can you even do that? Man, change the weather. I'm loving this music. It's pump you up so much. Wait, is it getting closer? Oh, wait. Did he just knock it with his hand? No, oh, he froze that as well. Okay, unlike Ichigo, he is not he don't have his support from his Zambaktu. This is gonna be hard for
Okay, we're going back to Hitsugaya's past. Why? Interesting. What dream? Oh damn, he didn't even hand it. Wow. Okay, so this is before he became a cat. I mean, before he even joined Shinigami. I know this is a filler, but I'm still interested in this this segment. Oh, damn. He gave his name, but he couldn't hear it yet. Oh, damn. That's why... That's why she was growing up. Funny how Matsumoto became, I mean Matsumoto is the... Okay. What is she telling him? Oh, did he just apologize for what happened? Oh damn. Oh boy. <laughs> because damn. I mean, come on. Even if he was outside, right, he wouldn't get into this fight, far as I know. I know Ichigo's character to a point where I can predict that. So why the hell wasn't he using Getsuga Tenso before?
And he's back. So just like uh, Renji, there is a possibility of him using his power, but they need to get the connection somehow. I think they have to get to go really far into the deep emotion state before they get to use them. He, ha he have a dragon feet, that's something I like. But they look really similar though. Okay. Now we're gonna come back to this Wado and see what's up with... Wait, what now? I thought that guy was glowing and he's supposed to fight him. He's absorbing hollow or is he just absorbing the energy? Okay. Mystery about this guy. But overall a good episode. I liked it. The first half, it, it wasn't boring but it wasn't fun. It's, it's basically not my thing. And then we came on to Hitsugaya's fight. It was... It, was, it wasn't like fun or epic. It was good. If that makes sense. Anyway, overall a good stuff. I enjoyed the episode. You know, like I said, even though that's a filler, I was interested in that past and I'm not sure how much of that is true, but nevertheless I enjoyed that past. It was really nice to see. And the grandmother she didn't even say anything. I'm not sure why, but she didn't say anything. But I guess that's why they were scared of that kid. I mean scared of Kitsugaya. The other kids were scared of him. I'm not I don't know if they felt it or not uh, but overall good stuff so those three got their some back to back so we're gonna see others coming back and also we need to see what's up with this guy and he's absorbing the hollows for some reason it's not even uh, any hollows it has to be above a Gillian rank I believe so I'm looking forward to seeing how this is gonna go. This is a nameless hollow just got absorbed right now because you know it's a filler, I think. But anyway, I am looking forward to the next episode. If you think, oh, the thing I can predict from here is I think he need hollow's power to stay in physical form. I'm not sure what happened to his user. Did he kill it? Did he escape from it? Who is his user? That's all going to be interesting. Uh, but we didn't get any power. I mean, he didn't get to see anything about his power yet. So, except, you know, mesmerizing or like messing around the head. That's Aizen territory, right? So it might be something to do with Aizen, but we'll see. Anyway, that's pretty much it from me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, don't forget to give, leave a thumbs up. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you press the bell button next to the subscribe button you will get notification when I upload the next video and yeah have a wonderful day or night people and see you guys with more videos